he doesn't let the grape tacos get in his way. What does that mean? Welcome to the Gradual Report, where we gradually report. As the calendar turns from 2008 to 2009 this year, we're going to receive a little gift as the world clocks take a shit all over themselves. The International Committee of Keeping Time, I have an eyelash that is bugging me, in Greenwich, England, has decided that this year we get a leap second. They will tuck in a second just ahead of midnight. The leap second insertion, that sounds sexual, may be the only human event that occurs simultaneously around the entire world. Still sounds sexual. Why? Because they felt like it after eating a grape-filled burrito. No, that can't be the reason. You're right, there's probably a much better one. I think it's because the Earth is slowing down, but time isn't. You see, seconds as a unit of measurement was defined in 1967 by the International Bureau of Weights and Measures in <laughs> Friends, it is considered the duration of 9,192,631,770 cycles of a very specific energy. Pronounced hertz in most languages, but hertz by me. The atomic clocks that use these cycles of hertz to calculate a second. Why am I talking like that? Top it, it's getting annoying. The atomic clocks that uses this frequency of hertz to calculate time can go hundreds of millions of years without dropping a single hundredth of thousandths of a second. That's amazing! But the Earth, she is a wandering whore that slows down and speeds up with Fictional tides and shifts in the mantle. That doesn't sound so much sexual as it does menstrual, you know? So we add a second. Why? Oh, we just went through that. Because to speed the earth up, all the Chinese people I think would have to fart at the exact same time, and that's just gonna be impossible to achieve. It's actually easier to reset every single clock on the planet one second more than to try and get the Chinese people. There just isn't enough fiber in their diet, <coughs> I think. Final summation, Mother Earth has given us a second. How will you spend yours? I'm gonna be spending mine eating raisins sexually. I'll see you tasty little lemon drops the day after tomorrow, where we explore the skin on my elbow. Because that's also interesting. Perhaps not as interesting as time, but still, you know, it's pretty goddamn interesting. Eating raisins sexually.